Hello, my name is Sandra Wilhite, and I am a volunteer at the Global Center for Success. Some of us know it as GCS. The Global Center is a small nonprofit organization located on Mare Island in the city of Vallejo, California. Our purpose is to develop basic life skills by focusing on personal growth, achievement, communication, and employment for the global community. Established in 2001, the Global Center has served thousands of clients struggling to cope with life, working with the Lord's Fellowship Center, Christian Help Center, Emergency Shelter, and other collaborative agencies, GCS has helped mainstream homeless and underserved individuals back into the community. GCS uses a holistic approach when working with the clients. Our basic life skill training program, health and wellness education, support groups, adult education services, and employment readiness training are all geared to support, enable, nurture, and empower our clients to build on the strengths that they already have. We not only touch on the physical needs of the client, and so we also offer spiritual counseling and support as foundations for wholeness and self-efficiency. What you are about to see is a brief introduction by the Global Center for Success Executive Director, Elby de Leon. When clients come in, they are first uh, greeted by our staff here. We have a security person and our receptionist, and uh, we start the helping process by what we call the case management assessment. We have two case managers who work with our clients, find out what their needs are, develop a relationship with them, uh, develop trust in the clients and in the helping relationship. So um, two of our case managers were former consumers of uh, homeless services, so they know and they can empathize with um, the clients. And they are now successful case managers. So what does that say? This is where the helping process begins. We have some paperwork that, of course, needs to be completed by the clients. And from there, uh, they have an, a one-on-one -on -one interview with the case manager. Um, Charlotte Webb is our senior case manager and has been with us since the get-go. Suki Edwards joined us in 2005 or 2006. And they all know what our clients are going through because they've been there also in their shoes at one time and they can really encourage and, and motivate them. Um, a lot of things come out of case management but it's important that the trusting and caring relationship is developed and our two case managers are very good at that. Uh, we're, we are many hats to many people depending on the need. Uh, we're a very lean staff of six people to full-time. The rest are all occasional so or part-time and we thrive on volunteers. We welcome volunteers and um, most of our facilitators are all retired professionals and they facilitate some of our classes and some have been former consumers of the service also so they know what they're talking about. Um, this is what we call our hallway of success and as we go through this corridor you will see a lot of pictures of clients who have graduated um, from our classes since we have held this graduation since 2006 I believe. So um, we have graduated several hundreds of people already and a number of them are productive members of the community now. So this is where we do our brainstorming of ideas, this is where we do strategizing, planning, staff meetings, um, this is where we also uh, do uh, GED um, tutoring in the afternoon if we have any GED clients coming uh, in the afternoon, they, they do their classes here or at the other conference room. 
and we can go and visit that too. Okay, so we have GED and literacy, literacy services that we are offering also. We have graduated two people since uh, we opened the GED program. This class is available free of charge to our homeless consumers and we charge a little uh, materials fee for uh, people in the community because we provide all of the materials for the GED preparation review course. And the classes are, um, they can come here Mondays through Fridays in the afternoon. We have close to 5,000 clients that we have served. And I would imagine that um, we started keeping records in 2002 and we opened this facility in 2001. So I can safely say that we have served over 5,000 clients in this facility. This is our Carcine Davis computer lab. And this is in honor of one of our clients who passed away uh, several years ago. He uh, was a reformed uh, man when he came uh, after attending his, uh, his life skills training here. And um, he became our custodian and one of our helpers here at Global. So we teach keyboarding classes here on Thursdays and Fridays and, do, and we do one-on-one -on -one, um, teaching also depending on the needs of the clients. We also have a clothes closet for men and women and the clothes closet for men looks a little sparse right now because we need more donations of uh, men's clothes uh, since we have shoppers not only from our own clients but from uh, the community we get referrals from Fighting Back Partnership and also from probation so they come here and they get their their clothes. We are looking for uh, jeans and shirts and work pants and shoes as well. Most of our classes are held in this room uh, so we have classes here every day we have um, resume writing and employment uh, readiness uh, uh, class on Monday. We have a recovery support group also on Monday and uh, daily living on Tuesday, money management on Friday, personal survival skills on Tuesdays and Fridays, health and wellness on Wednesdays, and um, uh, this also doubles as a waiting room on Thursday for the health care for the homeless clinic. Um, we also have AA meetings here on Tuesday evenings and Sunday mornings. This is where we have our clinic that um, is open on Thursday from 8.30 to noon time or whenever uh, all, the all the clients are seen. We have uh, a nurse practitioner from Solano County Health and Social Services, as well as a licensed clinical social social worker and a Kaiser volunteer doctor and some eligibility workers from um, Solano County Public Health who come here to do the services. And we're so grateful with this partnership with uh, Solano County. Also on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesdays or Thursdays, Tura University um, medical students come here also to do a health assessment history taking of our clients. And they work with our case manager to do some referral of services and coordination of healthcare services as well. So what we're trying to promote in this facility is a holistic approach to making our clients whole because our clients come to us broken in in many ways and it takes a whole village a whole lot of support services to 
embrace them and keep them whole. And that's what we are about. We want to empower our clients to be the best that they can be with the, with the soft skills, life skills training that we provide to them. We, we also have um, counseling on um, every Tuesday through Thursday and um, we have a um, licensed um, MFT intern who provides those uh, services. Hi, my name is Jackie Cafiero and I'm a facilitator of the Global Center for Success. I've been here now for almost two and a half years. I can't believe it. I've lived in Southern California for the last 20, for 29 years, and it's amazing that I'm here now. However, at the Global Center for Success, I am so thrilled to have a place to serve. I was thinking this morning about my pastor down south and about writing him a letter and telling him what I'm doing here and just give him all the good reports about what's going on. I love what I do at the Global Center for Success. I facilitate classes. I also do some clerical. I do some off-site groups. And it's really so fulfilling and rewarding. Of course, it, it can be challenging at times because we're dealing with the, the homeless population. We're dealing with the underserved population. And it's pretty rewarding when you see people come in one day. We have an orientation the first day they're here. And then two days later, you see them, and they look like entirely different. And it's so amazing to see the transformation take place, but I, lo I love it. And I'm so grateful also having lived in Southern California, I know of one place that actually helps the homeless population, that is the Dream Center. And we were there also volunteering for a couple of weeks back in 2006. However, here, to think that on a daily basis, there is a shelter for the homeless, where they can have a hot meal, they have a, a warm and a safe place to stay, and also the Global Center for Success, which not only provides the classes, but it, it just offers people such hope. It's, it's, it's a wonderful place to be, and I would encourage anybody that's looking to get back to the community to come on over to the Global Center for Success and get involved. If you want to donate on, on any level, you know, houses, cars, money, whatever, whatever you want to donate, all donations are acceptable, accepted. Because everything that the Global Center does, they do it for free. And it's all based on donations. They depend on the contributions of the society and the community at large. So to be a part of the Global Center for Success, and I'm so thankful that I have a place to serve.